Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail I took a red pill, I know life's short So I wanna live real, but how is it supposed to feel? Welcome back to the channel. I'm at Karen Valley Mountain Bike Trails today. This is the reservoir. Look how still it is. Very wintry. It's freezing. In fact, looks like there's lots of ice there. First bit's frozen. <laughs> That's how cold it is. Proper frozen. Really frozen. See if I can do a skimmer across the, the lake, see how far I can get it. <laughs> wow. That is mental. Anyway, let's get up these trails, shall we? So just come up a little bit of fire road. There's the reservoir there. And the first trail is a red climbing trail called Pipe Dream, I believe. Let's do it. Switch back. He drops here. A little more open. These have obviously been felled in this area at some point. Slippy to the ice like. Very slippy. So it's uh, quite a nice climbing trail, not too difficult, and like decent gradient, manageable, but I will say I'm going to take it easy going downhill on the downhill trails because it's just going through some of these patches of ice, so slippy. You're okay, the rest of it's really tons of traction, but you hit these waste patches and it's a bit dodgy. Well, here I'm at the top of the hill. Well, my first trail I'm going to do is called Ease Do, which I've just looked up on Google Translate means Black Waterfall in Gaelic. I've never been down any of these trails, obviously, but I've watched videos of them. They look quite flowy with a few jump and drop features, but as I've learned, things are always a bit more uh, sketchy in real life. Plus, it is icy today, so it is slippy actually, so I'm going to be careful. But let's have some fun. This is graded on Trail Fox's blue. They've graded it red here. So we'll see how it is. Ease do, here we come. I think I'm gonna go down this wee rocky entrance rather than going around the sort of looping side. Could be foolhardy because it, it's covered in ice. Berms. Oh, oh, I see it as a very icy thing. Oh, that's so slippy. That was so slippy. A wee uphill bit. I'll just sketch it up, but just because of ice. Yeah. 
big drop there Off to the left there That's better Wasn't really going very fast for that first drop Second sort of kicker jump thing was better I'm really going faster for these Oh, yeah. well, that's it. Well, that was really good fun. He's do done. Uh, yeah, so True Fox says it's blue. Yeah, I think it is probably blue, unless you do the features, mix into red just. So. I suppose if you're doing it properly, it is red like it's marked here. Um, I wasn't really going fast enough for some of the features to go off them properly. I went off them, but uh, first one of the day, never been down it before, and there's bits where you there's lots of ice, but at the bit at the top there, it's kind of more exposed, slippy as anything. Although my tyres, good old Wild Enduros, got kept getting grip, but. I felt like a uh, potential for crashing. <laughs> I decided to go back up and session these little jumps and kickers a little bit quicker. View. So, with that wee fence is there, that's the end of the Pipe Dream Trail that takes you up, brings you up the hill, and this is the start of Cannonball! Right next to it. Again, here it's graded as red, on Trail Fox it's graded as blue, so I assume it's going to be quite similar to that East Dude Trail I just done. We shall find out. With these trails that I'm doing today, I'm not really that interested in going really fast because the conditions are a wee bit dodgy. I'm really more interested in just trying to do the features so hopefully I'll be able to do them, not go past them without realising that they're there because obviously I've never been down it before. Right, let's do cannonball. Features, rocky bit. I'll pump into these corners. Whoa, skinty. Oh, so uh, sheet ice there. <laughs> oh. yeah, I can need to change my gear. Right. I just pump into the speed. Nah, yeah, nice to be drop there. Uphill. This is the ice. Oh shit. Excuse my French. It's weird. Roller's going uphill. <laughs> Strange. Which way is it? Ooh. I 
I think that is it. Well, that's pretty good. Uh, just exploring this little bit here. Um, that takes you back onto the Pipe Dream Trail, the climbing trail. So that's quite good if you just want to do loops. Just loop back in to the Pipe Dream Trail, climb back up and then come back down again. And that's pretty, pretty nifty. But I'm being naughty. I'm just walking back up the trail here. There's nobody about. And I'm going to head up to the last trail, Runway. And that's the one that's marked as black on trail forks, so if it's marked black on trail forks it maybe is a lot harder I think it's got jumps at the end uh, I don't know if maybe it's got bigger drops or something I'm not sure Again, I have watched videos but it's hard to tell on videos it only gives you half an idea of what trails are really like it's quite different when you come and you're on them in person Runway! Last trail of the day It's marked here as red On trail forks it's marked as black Interesting. I don't know why. Oh, it looks like there's a drop or something there. It looks like that may be a wee off-piece trail going down there. Not sure. Apparently there is some off-piece trails here. Um, on trail forks, one of them said it was really meant to be really muddy. People saying it wasn't worth it at the moment because it's so muddy. Another one said it's kind of closed now because so many trees had fallen over it. So I'm just sticking to the main route. I'm just going to check out this drop. From here it looks quite big, but who knows what it's like on the other side. Let's have a look. Ah, it's all fine. It's, it's funny, from back there it looks like it's... Hey, here it's nothing. Right. Famous last words. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Yeah, that's good. Nice. Oh, pretty. What's this? I think some of these are actually jumps. If you're going to jump in, you probably will do double these sort of things. Oh, you'll oh, be able to. Fling up off the thing. Looks like I'll go around that, miss that ice out. Oh, so icy. Kind of lost my momentum there. Eh? momentum Ooh. a bit hairy there we're good Ah, too, way too slow. Way too slow for that. Whoa! That's so icy! Oh, skating about everywhere there. Wow, that was mental. That was like an ice rink. That's 
the end of it. Great fun. Superb. Just pushing back up runway a wee bit, just have a look at it. This bit here, coming around this corner and this bit. So dodgy, sheet ice. It's like solid. Feel my, mm, just on top of ice there. And it was, you see, sliding about so. Pretty scary when you're going quite fast. <laughs> oh, how spicy! That's why it'd be good to come here and uh, when it's not covered in ice. I'm just going up back up the hill a wee bit. There was one corner with a drop in this rocky sort of turn. I really didn't feel like I did it well. I'm just going to do a wee bit of sessioning on this corner here. Well, there's this drop into this rocky turn and when I came down the trail for the first time I felt like uh, I was quite out of position now I'm looking at the, here this big sort of rock slab drop which you could use as a sort of a boost if you're good at jumping you literally leap off that and then land on these rocks going around the corner when I came round the corner the first time I came off the drop but I felt like my body position was all out of whack. I was kind of leaning far back and it was a bit sketchy. I mean, I got round it. I, was, I didn't feel like I was in danger of falling off or anything. But I just want to try sessioning it just to do it a bit better. So, let's have a go. Right, I'm going to miss this wee kicker because I just want to try and get some speed up. The boss stance thing that Ben Castle says. Actually, that was tons better. Just haven't done it once. Obviously, you're meant to. I think people could jump that, but I'm just treating it more like a drop. So, the first time I did it there, it actually felt a lot better than the time I'd done it initially. But the second time, I kind of felt like I did the first time. I felt like it was hanging off the back of the bike. And when I came into this bit, I felt a wee bit out of control. Not crazy out of control, but yeah, just not. I wasn't the right bike position. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come around and roll off it slowly and just try to pick the best line. I think it is try to come up high here rather than coming down the middle of that. I think it's try to stay quite high. So you're sweeping around in the berm there. I'll do that. Right, so if I just do this one slowly, just try to pick the line. Oh! Yeah, that's it. I mean, I say slowly, you pick up some speed coming off that. This one, I tried to do a wee bit faster, but I think I've got the right line anyway. That helps. Yeah. That felt good. I feel better. Well, that run felt quite good. Felt a lot better. I do feel still leaning a bit too far back, but I didn't feel out of control at all. Um, I do think I wasn't still 100% on the best line because I think you want to come up quite high here and then so you're getting turned in, so you want to come up right about here. So it's taking you across and then round that sort of um, little edge of rocks round about there. And it sweeps you a really nice round. Really cool corner. Uh, it's a wee bit, this is probably the trickiest bit in this whole trail, I think. Apart from the sheet ice that's out here today, but obviously that's not normally here. Well, my first impressions of Caron Valley trails are really great fun. Definitely trails for, I would say, beginners to, to intermediate level. 
a beginner would be have no problems going down them. Maybe the runway one would be a wee bit difficult, maybe a bit too much, but for an intermediate, none of them are a problem. Even if you're a more advanced rider, you still have fun blasting down them. I think it's quite a compact place, so you could quite easily do lots of loops, I think, if you're fitter than I am. <laughs> yeah, but really good, really worth, worth coming. I don't want to come here for a while, and this is the first time I've actually ma made it through and it was well worth it. It would be good to come back in summer where, because there were some bits there literally, it was sheet ice and I could feel the sort of wheels going as I was going to cross it. Uh, a wee bit dodgy but I survived. One other thing, I don't know if you can see over there where that hill is, there's like a, some buildings. It's like a medieval fort sort of recreation which is used in films. It was used in Robin Hood starring Russell Crowe uh, and you can go around it and uh, I think they do workshops and things like that. So if you're interested in history, I think it'd be a good place to come, right next to the bike trails. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Tati bye. Like and subscribe, all that kind of stuff. See you later. Yeah.